Hey YouTubers, welcome back to our channel where the couch potatoes, where we get together and watch movies and TV shows and then talk about them in a review. Today's pick is a wild card called Underwater. We're watching it on HBO. It was a movie that was released, I think, in 2020. I believe so, yeah. I, I think it was, I don't remember if it was one of the ones that was released before everything started, but I think it was slated to come out before everything started, so. Okay, so we're gonna go with it was released in 2020. This was a pick, it's not any one of our single picks. It's Looks something like it's that we stumbled across, something that we stumbled across and we decided that we'd go ahead and take a peek at it and then share our opinions with you guys. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get watching the show oh. and then we'll come back and talk to you. And um, also just so you guys know, um, we actually had, just because of like weird technical issues, we actually had to watch this before. So this is actually going to be our second viewing of it. So if we kind of like mention things, like, like, or like we like say like, oh, before I didn't think like this, this is why. This is one we've actually all seen before. Like, so just weird technical issues. We had to record this again. So just so you know. Yeah, true. All right, let's get watching. Oh, no, no. Is it recording? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, please don't try to record my bad pun. No. Okay, good. <laughs> Why did I grab some? Oh, oh. I finally got some big glass. I didn't I try have this. one of this. And. Well, just the okay. fan hit. Okay. <laughs> we'll edit that out. You got another bottle of drink in there? Yeah, I mean, you have your fancy mineral water. Which I don't like as much. We'll edit that out too. It's still muted. After seeing this the first time, coming back and watching it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. I don't know, it seems a little more interesting. Trying to spot. Shot that was really good. Uh, really confusing. Hmm? The opening shot's confusing? Because we expected something to go. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Expect something to jump out right away. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Wait, what do you mean that too? Like, we all die in Sarah? What are we talking about here? Oh, of course. It's not about energy when you went to there. Okay, the entrance making me happen. Somebody just explain. You escape Pozzagon and just suck it out of the water. And we're not getting any more radio signals. And the structure of the Kepler is still in itself. That's it. The river is being punched like this. It's so weak. So weak. Weak. We go for the robot. The robot? Hmm. So every time they need to see if they can fit through a spot. 
five. She says, I'm the smallest, let me go. Why would you send the smallest person <laughs> to see if everybody can fit through the spot? Advertise it. Well, because if you can't fit, then why would we go? I mean, by now, I mean, she says, oh, I'm through. Then the next person comes in. Well, that just leaves the big guy to the end, and now he's stuck. Are they all going to come back? No. Who else had Why everybody else is going Pretty much, pretty cool. Yes, yes, again, we're kind of overwhelming the second time around. Yeah. Like, first time was like, oh, wow, but this time was like, eh. Eaten 
Oh, an alien, right? Yeah. Pretty much. It's just, oh, suit, that's your problem. Boom. Is he always in that discussion part? Yeah, he always in that discussion Disgusting this movie underwater. So can we just start with the opening sequence? What do you guys think of just the opening sequence? How it started? I, I thought it was Good. interesting. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. I mean, it, it gets you into the mood, kind of. You know, like it's like, hey, here's what's been going on. Here's why all these characters are underwater in the first place. And yeah. That, I mean, I, I, I thought it was great if somebody might think it's like cliche because it's for like different like newspaper clippings and stuff, but... But I it mean, was good. I yeah. thought the opening sequence was done really well. Okay. Yeah. One thing that I did find confusing though was she starts off narrating and she's talking about what someone said to her. Yeah, about, but I, like, about like how like they don't believe in time, they just don't, they just believe in moments and you live for it. Them. But I feel like she never explains who this individual is, and nothing ever comes and, of that. Yeah, and why it's relevant at all. I mean, and she, she kind of talks about it because because it's kind of like yeah, because like she's been thinking about that since you know she's been underwater for like months, and you kind of lose track of time and stuff. But it's also just kind of like what? <laughs> yeah, just in there. Just in there. It does set the pace for the rest of the movie. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the timing of the movie and everything, the timing and the pacing. Because, oh boy, this movie is an hour and a half. It does not feel like an hour and a half. How long does it feel? Like, Three hours. Yeah, <laughs> but pretty much. It's just, but then again, too, like, I wonder if that's just because we watched it before. But I also like so, know because the no. first one, I feel like the first time we watched it, it, it felt it, it rather long. Yeah, it, yeah. it felt more, more like, like a two, two and a half hour long movie. 
And then right. I can like look at the time and like, wait, we're only like 45 minutes for this? Right. And the bad thing about that is you get 30 minutes into it and you still don't know anything about these characters. Yes. Like you yeah. learn nothing about the characters. And, and you think, don't know their names. And at that point you really don't care. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the drawback of how the movie starts because it just kickstarts you straight into the action. And while there is somewhat pressure to see from these type of like disaster movies, I guess you could, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess you could call it that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this this could probably credits. be considered a, a disaster movie. Like, while it is refreshing to see, we'll soon not be, know nothing about the characters. Right. But the cinematonic was very well done, I thought. Yes. Cinematonic. Yeah. Yes. yeah. For that first scene, yes. <laughs> so, here's, here's my thing about it. Mm -hmm. With, when I first saw the movie, I expected it to, from where she was narrating, I was expecting some sort of flashback of, mm -hmm. hey, this is a crew, this is how we ended up mm -hmm. down here, mm -hmm. something like that. No, nope. yes. I said you just skip it for exposition. That's not even told to you. You have to read it. <laughs> even then, the exposition for when there was character, for when you learn some characters' backstories, happens way late in the movie. Yeah. To the point of, why yeah, talk yeah. about it now? We yeah. don't. We already don't care. So why make us care? Yeah, but and I don't also even remember too, any backstory. Though. And, and then also too, it's like in like that really obvious way of oh. Hey, Mom, do you remember that thing that happened two years ago? Yeah, true. Like, and then we begin to describe that thing that happened in excruciating detail, and it's like, no, <laughs> it's not how you do this. Yeah, yeah. So, the character development was very great. No. no, no, no. What about the storyline I mean, itself? The, the, the characters themselves were not great, because it's like, we have the main character, the scared one, the comic relief dude, and, yeah. and a bunch of cannon fodder. Yeah. yeah, all the same tropes you normally expect in a movie like this. Yeah. Now, to be fair to the actors, the I thought the actors were fine. Yeah, there was nothing no, yeah. wrong with the actors. I think this just wasn't a very well developed movie. movie. Yeah, because the directing was good, it just wasn't like the actual like, script writing and stuff wasn't great. Yeah, and then you saw the monster, the creature, and then it was yeah. just like, well, there's a creature. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's nobody... no detail about this creature. Yeah. And the Nothing. visibility is kind of everything and we get that it was underwater. But the whole movie is a little bit murky after the first scene. Yeah, it's it's basically like that, that Demon Souls uh, uh, tin, like that weird murky blue color <laughs> that you can't see anything so... out of. So, at least with but, it, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, at least with the. Um, oh, what was the. Never mind. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. Uh, so, I, to me, it feels like when they were making the movie, they wanted to make aliens, but for the ocean. Uh, yeah, pretty much. They, but they did it in such a spectacular, <laughs> spectacular way that it failed. Well, like, at least with like, aliens, at least there was some explanation of yeah. what was going on. Yeah, yeah. They, like, they made you care about the yeah. characters, they gave them personality, they gave even an alien, and aliens, they had witty one-liners, yeah. but they made you care about the characters. Yeah, They're, yeah. But it, this it, it one just... kind of feels like they were like, okay, so, so we had this idea, but it's not fleshed out. We fleshed it out as we go along, and then just as like, you get going along, they forget to actually flesh it out, and they're like, well... Right. Yes, we're stuck with this now. And did you also realize that there was actually no fight between them and the creatures? There was no fight. They never discovered, hey, here's a weakness. Mm -hmm. Or any of that, really. Yeah. I mean, I, it really was much. 90 minutes of running. Running, yeah. Yeah, 90 minutes of running. Yeah. Well. Even, and even an alien. They were actually fighting against mm -hmm. aliens. They mm -hmm. had weapons. They sat there and tried to poke at it, yeah. try to shoot at it. But yeah. here is and, just, oh, oh, and oh also, no, run. And also, and also, the worst thing about this okay. is that, because if you notice, in one of like the opening credit sequence things, it was like, that there were like, things that, that were like, like seen like, around like, like the site that like, the, the company tried to kind of like, push away. Uh -huh. And I, I think that's why that one base was abandoned. And uh -huh. you could have had 
a much more interesting story with that. Why okay. would you? Why did you do that? I maybe because like, they only had ninety minutes. I don't know, but no, but like that could have actually just been the premise, and then you could have actually had a sequel with this one being the sequel, where it's like, oh, we're actually gonna try this again, like you know, like I don't know, but it's like. <laughs> You have a much more interesting story in your really bland story right there. <laughs> I guess. That, I, I think I get what she's saying. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to what I was saying about this trying to beat aliens but for water. <laughs> right. Because in Alien, they were like, hey, this is a mining company, da da da. However, a secret subplot, or the subplot was, oh, actually, Mother back on Earth wants this thing alive. Mm -hmm. And they find out, and it's like, well... Yeah, oh yeah, because, oh yeah, because, yeah. because like, the, the corporation in this has, like, major, like, really weird, like, oh yeah, we're, we're totally good guys, you know, like, like we're, we're totally not, like, like, like evildoers here, no, but that's not us at all, kind of. We're not guys. the Umbrella Corporation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I, I think... One thing for me was also, and I think we talked about this before, was the transitions in this movie. Yeah. The transitions the, were Going horrible. from scene oh, to scene, it was very disjointed. The movie itself, to me, was a little hard to follow. Oh, um, yeah. Like, yeah, and, like, and, and absolutely no no plot line to yeah, me, or yeah, like, very yeah. little. Yeah, because like, that's the thing, like, because it, it seems like you're, like, on paper, this seems like your your standard run of the mill weird disaster movie mm -hmm. where it's kind of like oh okay so you can just kind of like shut your brain off but no for whatever weird reason it's like you actually have to like pay attention to it and if you like let your mind like wander for like just like three seconds all of a sudden you're in like entirely another place and you don't know what happened and someone's dead right. and it's like it's like blink right. yeah. like every wrong moment and yeah. you miss it mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it's like how on earth Tubers, this movie was a half baked potato. <laughs> That's what this was. It apparently uh, they had they had good actors. They had a decent premise for a story, but they had good scenery and good scenery. Yeah. Except you couldn't see the scenery, so I'm not sure how good the scenery was myself. But when they were inside the base, yes. Oh, okay. Inside like the, yes. the, yeah, the base. Yes. Yeah. Like the base is the best looking thing of this entire movie. <laughs> And, and that's Christian, sad. And Christian Stewart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That does not do so, the actor thing. Yeah. Right. So, some of it, it seems like in someone else's hands, maybe, possibly, it could have been a really good movie. Um, if they had taken a little more time to write out the script or the story a little better, just gave some meat and potatoes to the monsters so that you knew exactly what it was they were fighting, why they were fighting it, but of course, like I said, they never actually fought it, so... Yeah, it feels like it was a... There was half a fight. Yeah, it just feels like it wasn't a complete movie. Yeah. Yeah. So and how it, many spots? I'm giving it four, because I, I, I'm i sorry, you guys, yes. I don't know that I could recommend it, <laughs> even for me, and I don't normally like scary movies anyway, but even if I, 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 I can't give it more than a four, I, I, I gotta go with a four. I think a four is good for me, yeah. for those same reasons. Yeah, Agreed? four. Agree? Yeah, four. I, I I think this is the same score we gave it last time, so at least that's <laughs> consistent. Well, this is even true. though we are suffering so much more during this recording. I I would say two out of ten would not recommend. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and like, oh, and that, that's like another thing too. Where like, um, cause like, cause like during like the whole like, like beginning exposition thing, it was like, oh yeah, there's like, you know, you know, like they're expecting like monks in isolation, like deep below the surface, you know, like weird things might happen, you know, stuff like that. And it's like, you are in the ocean, pretty much alone, with giant tentacle monsters after you. Hello, this is Lovecraft. We into that overture element. 
Like, that right there is, like, your, like, entire, like, character development. Why were you not doing that? You were, no. like... <laughs> no, you know what been better? Had they made the monsters one person's hallucination, yes. that person goes on a rant thing, Yes. And trying to stop these monsters, they end up killing the crew. Yes. And they're all alone and yes. isolated underwater. That would have been so much better premise, but no. Yes, Instead exactly. that we can save here and, and you just can make still it. do the Elder Tour. You, you can know, still it, have a little crafty horror with that. It's, it's sad so that we can save hire my kids so they can write their movie. <laughs> it's sad we can sit here think of something better than what we just watched. <laughs> Oh, no, no, okay, so we done four. trashing this movie now. <laughs> oh yeah, just four spuds across the board. Yeah. Just toss the movie into a fireplace. Yeah. Just toss the movie into a fireplace. That's I, what I say. I, I like how too, like in, in this one as well, I think we're like, we're over harsh on it because I remember like in like the first recording, we were like, oh yeah, it's like a good background movie. Like you could just like put it on while you're like doing other things. Now we're just like, no, do it's not. not. <laughs> This time we 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 yeah. Yeah, I, maybe that's what it is. I yeah, don't I know. No idea. To the people who made this movie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm I'd bad. be sorry for your opinion. Don't be sorry. In this case, our is fast. Oh, no, oh, 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 do you oh. know how mad I would have been? <laughs> <laughs> refund the money and refund your life. <laughs> oh, oh Brad, you didn't have to spend money. <laughs> that's how you fear. That's not thought that, like, I because I love gravity in theaters. So I don't know. <laughs> um. I have a penchant for just finding the weirdest things. And watching them in theaters. You know this what? is true. Bucks. You know what got us? You know why, Matt? When we first when we first saw a scene from it, right. we thought, oh hey, this looks like a cool movie. Right, oh, yeah. and I think that's because that was the opening <laughs> scene, which is the only thing the movie no, has gone for. No, that wasn't the opening scene. It, it, it was the scene where the home guy got turned yeah. to mist in yeah. the water. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah. we were like, we need to watch this. Yeah, this would true. be great. <laughs> After seeing through it twice, <laughs> no, I want a refund of my of my life. I want a refund of my life. It was not as advertised. No. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Okay, tubers, let us know what you think. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Yes, yeah, so that's just the algorithm. <laughs> Till next time. Spuds out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this movie was trash. <laughs>